Hello and welcome back to RC Model Reviews and in response to popular demand today I flew the seaplane, the Caparina from Team Black Sheep and this is my one here in all its glory. Now I can't show you video of that test flight because well I've got nowhere legal, nowhere I can fly legally so you have to take my word for it that I flew it because I wouldn't want to incriminate myself would I? But here we go, uh, yep it flew a few clicks of trim and it was away, uh, no problems there, I was surprised at how easy it hand launches, I'd heard some horror stories and you know sometimes these wings are a bit difficult to launch if you're just flying by yourself, you know the one handed fling, but no, uh, the, the first launch was a bit wonky but with only about two thirds power on, had heaps of power, didn't stall, didn't spin out of the sky, I was able to get it straight and level, fire in some clicks of trim and away it went. Now there was a bit of turbulence around so I didn't expect it to be a rock steady platform and in that respect it didn't disappoint. It is a small wing and this one is quite light, it's 585 grams I think which is lighter than the 600 grams I think they suggest so that's pretty good uh, but it was sort of you know rocked about by the wind and turbulence quite a bit um, in the site where I was flying. Now um, what else did I notice? Well the video transmitter um, I've got to do some checking here now this is my own video transmitter one of the ones I use in my backpack and but I noticed there was some quite a few little sort of fine lines on it which generally indicates some noise probably coming from the TBS core board which does some voltage conversion and I'm, I'm thinking maybe there's not enough filtering on there I'm not quite sure so they did send me a new rookie 200 milliwatt transmitter what I'll do is I'll replace the one that of my own one in here with their 200 milliwatt and I'll put that other core board in here because remember they also sent me another core board because the one they sent me originally was you know the soldering was pretty bloody bodgy where the wires were put on so I'll replace that core board and the 200 milliwatt transmitter before I make any decisions on that. I have fitted the Boss Cam to mine, didn't have a GoPro so I put the Boss Cam on. That was actually a really easy fit because they give you the foam pieces that mate into the holes that are cut into or moulded into the foam so I just took my Boss Cam and I cut the piece of foam that normally just comes out of there and stuck the Boss Cam in it. Then I put some bits of Velcro over there just to hold it all in place as you can see. Velcro goes around to the bottom a really easy camera mount and I can adjust the angle up and down with some shimming, piece of cake, I can take the camera out, do whatever I want. The camera power comes out here and then goes into the balance lead on the two cell lipo pack. Now as it stands it's not an overpowered wing but it seems to fly really nicely with the power level that's here. The light weight I think helps. Um, the climb rate's more than acceptable. I Getting the motor mount at the right angle was a bit tricky when I built it because so much slop in there, it's pretty hard to see where it should actually go. And I think this one could do with a little more down thrust. Unfortunately, flying wings require a bit of reflex on the aileron, so they tend to climb under power unless you have a reasonable amount of down thrust to counteract the increased flying speed. So I may have to shim the motor on this a bit just to give it a bit of down because as I put the power on it did start to want to climb quite a bit. And I could mix and throttle an elevon, but nah, that's not the way you want to do it. You want to have it trimmed out neutrally, so I'll have to fart around a bit with that and make that work. Um, the, I noticed with the elevons, the control throws they give you are pretty much spot on. Spot on makes it pretty easy to fly. The ailerons are quite reasonably responsive and the elevator's got more than enough power to fly around without risking dropping it into a tip stall in a flat spin. In fact, I had read that these things will drop a wing and you know go into a spin pretty easily but I slowed this one right down and it just didn't care, it was lovely and so and it, out of the launch I had a bit too much up trim on and it was really trying to climb and when I cut back the power and it just sort of leveled out and then settled so yeah I, if you keep it light obviously that spin thing isn't really much of an issue and same on landing bring it in flare it flare it right at the end just falls flat on the ground doesn't drop a wing and dive in or anything. Now it will cruise quite nicely on about third throttle I don't know what that is, I'll put telemetry in this one soon, I'll tell you how many amps it's drawing. Well actually it's got, it's got the core board but as I say there were some wavy lines which made it a little bit difficult to use um, through the FPV goggles. So I'll sort that out and then we'll have a look and see what the current draw is. The free sky receiver in here worked flawlessly, I flew as far away as I could see and uh, no problems with range or no low signal telemetry alerts. And yeah that's basically about it all in all I mean you know it's it's as advertised it's not going to be the most stable machine for FPV that's just the nature of small aircraft they, they, they will rock around with turbulence. What I do have here somewhere is one of these it's a three axis gyro stabilization board. I know a lot of people put gyro stabilized gimbals on their multi-rotors well I'm going to put the gyro stabilizing board 
on the TBS wing and see whether it makes it a more stable platform for fixed wing FPV. I mean, it's so light, this thing. Um, and it'll fit, I just slid in here behind the battery and we'll just see what it does. And once I can fly legally, I'll give you some video so you can see for yourself what the output of this is. But at the moment I'd have to say, yeah, it's, it's a nice little model. And bearing in mind the limitations of a small flying wing, uh, it flies really well. But I'm gonna put some more hours on it first before I give my final um, opinion. And as I say, I'll change out the core board stuff. We'll get that all sorted. And then I'll let you know if that, these little wavy lines are a problem. I don't think they will be. I think it's probably specific to that particular core board in combination with my own 200 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz transmitter so there it is that's the Caparina flight video and you didn't even see a second of flight footage but there was quite a few minutes of flight footage thank you for watching any questions on the bottom of the video any comments on the bottom of the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and i'm working hard to keep bringing you more videos as regularly as possible bye for now